Hi, I'm Rick from the Music Workshop Company. I'm going to show you some tips on how to drum. Okay, so what we're going to do is attach a drum head to a, uh, a drum um, from scratch uh, and then going on to tune it. So the, the drum skin goes on top here like that and then the, the drum ring, this is called, uh, goes on the sides like that. Now the screws at the side need to be fitted in to the screw holes here. It's um, not marked which ones, so you can do any one like that and you just need to make sure that they're all attached first of all so at this point it's not crucial um, um, how tight they are they just need to be kind of firmly fitted in Now, if you're really organized, you can actually get a drill to do this, which is a lot quicker. Um, okay. So that is fairly secure, but it's still not tight. So there's no tension on the drum skin. So you're going to get no sound out of that. This is where you need drum keys. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to use two because it's just a little bit quicker. It's not the end of the world if you don't have two, you can just use one. Now, how you tune it is always um, in opposites. So you go this side and that side, this side and this side, this side and this side. Okay, it doesn't matter which ones you start with as long as you always do opposites. Never round. Okay, so I'm going to turn until these get at this point, it's a question of judgment how tight they actually get. So that's about right. I'd say about seven or eight turns at this point until they, until they get tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're getting there. So it's a little bit tighter. Now, at this point, this is where you start tuning, okay? So I would start with one turn, one turn here, one turn here. Now, at this point, I can feel that this screw is slightly um, less tense than this, so I would just push this one up. Again, it's just a question of judgment, you know, you've got to, you've just got to judge how tight some of the screws will be a little bit less than the other. I'll do it again, so I would go about 90 degrees with this one. Now, at this point, we have a sound. This is where it gets a little bit more detailed. So, you take a drumstick. Now, <clears throat> you have to take the sides. If you feel as though one sounds a little bit different to the other, you have to just send that up a little bit. So, the drum is now, this side of the drum is pretty much done. Now the mistake most people make um, when they're not happy with the sound of their drum is they're constantly fiddling around with the top. Now, what the biggest mistake made here is the, the sound, the bottom head judges the sound very much. So what I would do at this point, if you're not happy with the sound, whether it's too high or it's too low, I would just, so if I just do that, that majorly adjusts the sound. So if I, if I just turn these about 25 degrees, that, that really changes the pitch, okay? So I like, with this particular drum, I prefer it to be a little bit more high pitched than that. So I'm going to turn these about 90 degrees, always opposites. And that is 
just about right. Um, if it's a new head, um, it will need playing in. Um, you can always push down, you'll hear a cracking noise. Um, that's absolutely fine. It's just basically when you, it's kind of like getting a new pair of walking boots. You have to walk them in a little bit. It's the same with the drums, and you have to play it a little bit just to get a nice settled sound out of it. And that should be. Tuning a drum head from scratch.